Welcome to my video on how to make the teeny tiny scrapbook. Here is the, are the materials that I have ready to go do is take my big shot and this is the bag with scallop die that we sell at Stampin' Up. And I'm going to take my 3 by 11 piece of cardstock and I'm going to cut out the scrapbook cover using the Big Shot. And there it is. Then I will take my Fiskars paper trimmer and I'm going to center this right in the middle here and I'm going to score a line right between these two lines that form the bottom of the bag so that I have three lines there uh, score a couple more lines up on the flap one eighth apart from the um, score line that is there for the top of the bag and that helps me make a nice hinge for the front of my scrapbook these lines I'm going to fold the middle one that I just scored up and on the other ones go down so that I have a W shape and that is my scrapbook base right there. Then I'm going to take this piece of pattern paper which is one and three quarters by two and a quarter and I'm going to mount it on this piece of uh, cardstock and this is going on the front of my scrapbook. I'm going to punch out a one and three quarter inch circle from this two by two and a half inch piece of pattern paper and I'm going to put that on the front of my scrapbook right there and I'm going to bend that around the back. To close the spine you're going to add some sticky strip into the W on one side and then you're just going to close it like that and press and that creates the closed part of the spine. Then I'm going to um, create a tag to go in here and I'm going to take my Big Shot again. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! Big 2 Tags die and I'm going to cut one of the scallop ended tags with this two and a half by five inch piece of cardstock. Where is that three? No, two and a half. And we're going to score a line one inch from the end of the tag. Just like that. And then we'll stamp the front and the back of the tag so that it looks like this. And we will put it inside the scrapbook and we're going to adhere it right here next to the middle fold so that it is partially on the back of the left side or the inside of the left side of the scrapbook cover and sticking to the spine, the inside of the spine. So that when it's all folded up it looks just like that. And I will take my coin envelopes and I will start mounting them starting with the left side. I'm going to put one here and I will put another one here 
and make sure they can fold up nicely on top of each other. I will repeat this on the other side so that I have a total of four coin envelopes and they all fold in and out just like this. All right. In between my envelopes, I'm going to mount this piece of cardstock that is two and a half or two and a quarter by three and a half. So that it covers up those flaps. And then I'm going to take a piece of two by three and a quarter inch cardstock and I'm going to stamp it. And then I will mount that right there. Once I get both sides with the envelopes and the decorative piece there, I will go ahead and start mounting up these pattern papers that are cut two by three and a quarter on each side of the envelope so that there's a piece on the front and another piece on the back so that they're all covered with pattern paper. And then I will, before I decorate them, I will go ahead and create a thumb tab for each envelope by taking the three quarter inch circle punch, sliding it into the envelope so that the bottom is inside the envelope and the top of the punch is outside the envelope. There's two hatch marks on either side of the punch I'm going to line up with the pattern paper so that it is straight. And then of course I will decorate my envelopes up as well as the front of my scrapbook. Take some pad or some cardstock like this and I will create some more tags with the Stampin' Up 2 tag die so that I have four tags like this and I will cut off an inch from each end. And each one of these will slide in to this envelope and make a place for you to put journaling. The final step in doing scrapbook is to put the magnet on. And what I've used are magnetic discs from Basic Gray. And you need one of the positive and one of the negative. And the adhesive isn't very sticky. So I would recommend removing it and putting a sticky strip on the back instead. And what you'll do is once you take the lining off, you'll go ahead and place your magnetic disc on the inside cover of the scrapbook. And then you will take the other disc and you will, before you take the adhesive off, go ahead and put it right on. It's really strong, this, this magnet, and if you don't get it on there right, it will actually push the other magnet away instead of sticking. So instead, you're going to do this. You're going to put that on there so that it's stuck to the other magnet. You're going to carefully peel off the adhesive. You're going to fold over the cover, and you're going to, let's see how sticky that is, the other... Okay, and you're going to push that down so that it sticks. And you're going to hold it there to make sure it sticks, and then when you open it, you should have a nice closure. And that is my teeny tiny scrapbook. Thank you.